Mike Power is here with a really deceptive, super entertaining routine. It's the $185 challenge. Here's what happens. You offer the spectator a chance to win up to $185 of your money. The spectator only has to put up $1. And if he doesn't win more, he gets his dollar back. No risk. Just a chance to win some money. Eric, I have a proposition for you that you can't refuse. I've got some bills on the table. You're probably curious as to what these are for. I've got a hundred, a fifty, a twenty, a ten, and a five. That's $185. I'm going to ask you to invest a dollar. I'm going to spot you the dollar. Here's your dollar. The worst case is you don't win my money, but you get your dollar back. You willing to play? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, no risk, right? It's, it's going to be fun. I know you're suspicious that I'm going to rig this somehow, so I want to set this up right up front. I've got cards here that have instructions on them. We're going to follow 12 instructions based on referring to the board, A, B, C, D, E, and F, and so on. You're going to make all the decisions about where the bills start, and you're going to see as the game progresses that it mattered where you put them at the beginning, whether or not you're going to win money. Well, that raises the question, how do you win money? As we progress through the game, there's going to be times when you're told, give me the bill at F or give me the bill at B. Um, if that's your $1 bill that you're giving me, as soon as you pick that up and hand it to me, you take all the money that's still on the table. Now, if that's not your one, then that money leaves the table, there's a blank spot on the board, and we continue on, giving you more chances as things move around. All right, Eric, big moment here. You're going to position these bills in their starting places, and you're going to see that that made all the difference in the outcome. So let's just start with 100. Where do you want that guy to go? E. E, that's E. Where do you want the 50 to go? A. That's the big money. Where do you want the 5 to go? C. C. Where do you want the 20 to go? D. D. Uh, whoops, over here. Where do you want the 10 to go? F. F. Uh, I left the one for last. Did you want to switch the one around here? Uh, yes, yeah, switch the one with the 50. Okay, so we'll put the 50 where the one was, and now you have to position the 50 here, so I guess we end up in this position. So you had complete freedom. Any, any remorse here? Nope. Go okay, ahead. this is it, man. We're going to get down to business. Here are the instructions. We're going to start by switching the 10 and the 20. So we're going to take the 10 over here and switch it with the 20. Okay. Instruction number one. Number two, switch the one and the five. Okay, where's the one? Here. And the five is here. Five goes here, the one goes here. Down to number three. Give me the bill at F. Uh, good news for you, it's only $20 that's coming back to me. Plenty of money still in play. Remember, had that been the one, you'd have taken all the money. Okay. Keep moving. Switch the one with either side. Now this is an interesting proposition. Since the one is in a corner, you can go up or across, but I want you to have a third choice. You can even switch the one diagonally over to the 10. So since there's nothing here, you can either go 50 in the one or the one in the 10. Which way do you want to switch? The one in the 10. The one in the 10. The one comes here, the 10 goes here. Okay, now let's see if we lose any more money. Give me the bill at A. Ah, luckily for you, it's only the $5 bill. Plenty of money still in play. You're, you're, you're a very lucky guy so far. 12 instructions, we're down to number six. Switch the one with either side again. Well, we can switch it back with the 10, returning the 10 to here, or we can switch it with the 100. Now remember, you're moving the 100. This is a big one. We're not gonna take it, it's just a switch, but move the you wanna move the 100 over to here and the one goes here. Okay, all right, good luck. Uh, give me the bill at B. Now it's 50, but you got the 100 in play, and you know, the 10 is still a couple of beers. You got no skin in this game anyway, so it's just for fun. I'm rooting for you, man. Switch the one with either side. Well, you, you can't switch here. You can only switch the one in the 100, so you're just kind of forced to, to do this, right? I mean, it's, can't, we got to follow the instructions. Either side, that's the only way you can do it. Okay, give me the bill at E. Oh, damn. I feel badly for you, Eric, it's the, it's the 100. But you don't feel too bad, I mean, you still have a chance. You still have a chance for that 10. Let's see how this goes. Take the bill at C. Take the bill at C, wait a minute, what's the next instruction? Up, and give it to Mike. I, I thought you might be taking this bill. 
give it to Mike, and I guess there's one final instruction. You may keep what's left. I, we're giving you back your dollar. Of course, I spotted you the dollar, uh, so I'll just keep that as well. Uh, but that is the end, my friend. I hope you had fun playing. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a great game. You can perform this in a close-up environment, and it's great for stage two. There's no risk for you, even though it seems that the spectator could have won money had he just made different choices. I'm Mike Powers, and this is the $185 Challenge.